I've seen them in Germany. They will dress nice, dress with a jacket, and they walk like this, and in the night they sleep at the train station. There is no hope in anything except in Jesus. And the same lie that Satan lied in the beginning, he still lies today. He comes in and tells you, did God say that you should not? If you believe in God, you would lose all your privileges. No part of it anymore. Bye bye. No sleeping around anymore. Bye bye. And you want to lose all this enjoyment of life? Wait until you are 60, 70 years. When you are old, then you can believe in God. And you can go to church every day. No, you know what? I want to serve God when I'm young when my blood is pumping and I can tell people about him and be proud of it. But Jesus was born. Today he's a savior. And you know where he lives? He lives in my heart. He lives in your heart. And today through Jesus I can know God. I can relate to God. I don't have a religion. But I know Him. And today, we rejoice for that. But you know what? Don't just take the gospel and keep it to you, to yourself. But give it to others. The choice is the same. Life, death. You give people the choice and they have to choose. Isn't it? Do you convert someone? Do I convert people? No. Do you have the power to convert a person? I have this priest friend of mine, you know? Mario, we always talk and argue. Tell me, Ahmed, you want to proselytize the Roman Catholics in Malta. And I go, Mario, I don't proselytize nobody. He said, but our church. I said, you don't have a church. The church belongs to Jesus. Doesn't belong to me, doesn't belong to you. Jesus came for one church. All who believe in him. Roman Catholics, Baptists. Pentecostals, name it, millions of them. All who believe in the name of the Lord shall be saved. I don't convert people. Honestly speaking, I don't have the power to convert people. It is the Holy Spirit who convicts and brings a conversion of heart through belief in the gospel of Jesus. But I don't convert people. I have no interest in converting people. But my interest is to bring people to him who died for them. They choose to either have belief or they choose to reject. It's up to them. So today, Christmas, we have a duty, church, to continue to spread this message through word and through deed. Today we go and eat turkey. Come, come to my house. My wife has prepared turkey. But turkey, tomorrow you go and sit on the toilet and it's gone. <laughs> but what will never go is your life. What will never go is your words to other people. So church, don't relax. Let us continue to be bearers of this good news to the world. I pray 
that Jesus will remain in your heart. And how do you do that? Read your Bible every day and pray every day. Isn't it simple? Read your Bible. Let's say it. Read your Bible every day and pray every day. And you will grow. Thank you, sister. And you will grow. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, that we have room for you in our 